Space Explorers Between the Lines. This match starts in three, two, one, go. Blue Alliance opting to take one of their null hatch panels off during this match. Right there, you see that one exposed there. Can the Blue Alliance seal that one spot up? We'll see. 1339, lining up to place cargo during the sandstorm period. They place it in. 386, working up high. Red Alliance working up really high on top of their rocket here. They sealed up the middle of that rocket. They got one up there on the top. 386, uh-oh, getting stuck on some cargo over here. That could be problematic. Oh, they get themselves off. 2375, that's Dragon Robotics from Phoenix, Arizona, coming back to play some defense. 2375, laying in wait here for 3309. That robot sponsored by the Boeing Company. 1339, placing cargo into their cargo ship. Ladies and gentlemen, Red Line's working carefully on this one rocket over here. They got two more hatch panels. Can they get that one ranking point by completing this rocket ship? 2375 from the Blue Alliance. Dragon Robotics from Phoenix, Arizona, trying to prevent them from doing that. 386 zooming over to their loading station to go get another hatch panel. Red Alliance has a slight lead, 36 to 32 with 60 seconds remaining. 64-43, Aimbot from Liberty High School. They grab a hatch panel over here. They head over to the rocket ship. Alliance partner, 55-26, placing cargo. The end of this cargo ship is really hard to place a cargo in because it's not a, 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 a square or rectangular shape. Really challenging right there. 45 to 42, this is gonna come down to the end game here with 30 seconds remaining. 64, 43, line up. Let's see if we can see this triple flip here. 64, 43, up one, two, one more. Get up there, boom, oh. Not enough room for another partner. 14 seconds left. 386 climbing for the Red Alliance here, up on a level three. 1339 also up on a level two climb. This match ends in four, three, two, one. Red Alliance wins 72 to 62.